All right, guys, this video might rub people the wrong way, but I want to talk about why I personally am not a big fan of doing follow along workouts. This might seem uh, ironic, maybe hypocritical, since I record a lot of follow along workouts for the Total Gym or Sonny Bench Trainer. I think they have their purpose. I think they're certainly useful. I'll keep making them. I'll discuss that a little bit in this video. But I would definitely be hypocritical to say that for me personally, I've never liked them. I find them oftentimes I get a worse workout than if I were to, just to work out my own. Um, I think they have their place, but it's not something I generally would recommend to people long term. Uh, this is also true, and I find this is the case for other just workout program templates in general, whether off the internet or um, like these set workout programs you buy online, which again, you could say is hypocritical of me because I give you guys free workout templates at signingmentrainer.com. If you guys sign up to the list, you get these workout templates, but I try and emphasize these are generally more conceptually based. And if you take what I'm saying here, I emphasize this a lot in my videos, so hopefully you guys are getting the point, and you apply this to those templates, I think that's when you really can maximize the results on those. Now, there is some context here if you guys just hear me out, but ultimately I feel that if you stop quote unquote following along and kind of find your own way, you'll see much better results. And for sure, I find this specifically more true when we're talking about a total gym. A total gym to me is the most intuitive, fun resistance training machine that is really geared for what I'm getting into in this video. Something of creating a workout that is really engaging. You can change exercises on the dime. There's so many different ways you can manipulate and make things harder or easier. That to me, everything I'm saying right now is all the more true when we're talking about resistance training on a total gym. So if you're using one of these machines, you guys want to see more results or better results and just stay more efficient, more adherence to the machine, uh, then definitely keep listening. And I do want to stress up front, there's a lot of good valid reasons people like and want some sort of structure, whether it's the follow along workout or some sort of workout template. So I'm definitely not openly discouraging them. I certainly have their, their place, uh, maybe for certain personality types as well. Uh, so they have their purpose, but I think it certainly depends on what we're talking about. If you're training something super specific, like you want to increase your strength or squat bench deadlift, something like that, or you have a certain event you're trying to train for, then yeah, a more specific template might be necessary. It might be very important, but I find for the vast majority of people I've worked with who are searching for just basic goals that most people say 99% of the time, usually it's more aesthetic looking muscles or better shaping body, however you want to describe that, better overall functionality and just want to feel and move better. I find an intuitive approach always trumps out some sort of set workout parameter template or workout program that you're watching over YouTube or something. And the motivation for me making this video is actually because I was ready to record a follow along workout for you guys. And I'll still keep putting those out there. Like I said, I'll get to that later. Uh, but just decided not to last minute because I actually wanted to have a good workout that day. And believe it or not, whenever I do record these workouts for you guys, I'm always taking a sacrifice because I know for me personally, it's not going to be that good of a workout. And so the workout itself might have been harder, might have pushed me to do more reps or more time than I would have been used to might have been kind of breathing a little bit heavier because it's more aerobically based when I was used to. It's always generally worse in a number of different factors considering just was it more interesting? Was it engaging? Was I really feeling the muscles that I felt in that set? And it's hard for me to really give you guys those workouts without making it totally unstructured and kind of all over the place. I did do that a couple workouts a long time ago. I can keep doing that, that sounds interesting, so that might be something I might explore in the future. But even if I did do that, it really wouldn't fit you as the individual. It would fit me, but it might not necessarily fit you. So if you're following a set rep range or a set cadence, you're a slave basically to that particular workout or coach or trainer, and no one workout program trainer or coach will ever know your body more than you. So oftentimes, you know, in the past, whenever I work out with a workout partner, I've gone like some group exercise classes. I've taught group exercise classes a long time ago. I've gone into CrossFit gyms and tried, I've actually taught similar style boot camp type classes and got, done some CrossFit classes and group exercise classes. One of two things always happens. I either did too much work or I did too little work. Or at the very least, I didn't maximize the best exercises I could have chosen for that day. But I totally understand for based on motivation or just for a beginner's mindset, they want some guidance on reps, sets, exercises, uh, etc. And some of this kind of comes from this idea I often hear from people and clients almost always is that they think if they had the right exercise variables, the right sets, reps, and these certain specific exercises that everything will just kind of fall into place. I find more often than not that once you've been training consistently, you start dialing in technique and ultimately start learning to listen to your body, you'll discover how much more or how much little you really have to do. And this is getting into one or two problems that usually start arises with people. They either are doing way too much 
and sometimes that too much is often unnecessary work and they think well if i'm just doing more work it's better you know if that, if that was the case we could just go outside and just dance to like music and i could lift heavy weights and just kind of exhaust a lot of energy moving my muscles that would be kind of unproductive focused work or not doing, like I said, enough focus work. They might be doing too little. They're following a set template. They're following a follow along workout like mine. Maybe they could have done a lot more. Maybe they could have got a lot more emphasis on certain areas that were specific to them. So the work might have not have been enough and it might not have been enough of a focused effort. And, which, and so what you guys are seeing here in the backdrop was one such workout where I've absolutely no idea. I say this a lot. I have no idea how many repetitions I'm doing. No, no idea how many sets, rest periods or exercises I'm about to do. I am in this kind of a flow state, which I made a whole video about that. And again, this is where the total gym kind of shines. I'm in this flow state where I'm kind of totally in the zone, totally engaged as possible with the exercises, trying to dial in that range of motion that feels good. Where I'm keeping constant tension and stress on the musculature that I'm working. And I'm just trying to search for that mix that happens, that organic mix that happens in every workout, because you're never gonna be the same from each workout to workout. So I'm finding the right amount of volume, ultimately, that places the most amount of stress on that given muscle that I'm trying to work. Sympathetic to the fact that, you know, not everyone's gonna get this right away, and that's where follow along workouts can come and help helpful. And I, I like making them, I'll keep making them for you guys, because I know they're helpful and they're useful. So. I'll still keep doing them, but at the very least, I want people to at least start thinking about and try to start, maybe you can think like taking the training wheels off, so to speak, and start learning to more towards like a conceptual based, instinctual mode of training. And this has always been what I try to strive people to reach towards, whether that's one-on-one -on -one clients or if I'm working with someone individually, they want me to write them a program, so to speak. I'll say to them, you know, I'll give you, I'm gonna give you a program kind of template that you guys can somewhat adjust. Cause the last thing I want you to do is just take this particular workout that I give you, whether that's a, a workout video here on YouTube or this piece of paper or PDF you're printing out and you're doing the exact same thing. Cause the odds are it's gonna get boring fast. You're gonna plateau and you're probably just not gonna stick with it. And I did the same thing when I created my workout poster. I have a whole separate video kind of explaining how to use that, but it was the same kind of idea. I didn't want you following the poster like dogma and the set reps and sets and even the exercise even on the poster. It was meant to kind of be a reminder and just different ideas how you can kind of pick and choose and create more unique, hopefully instinctually based workouts based on a simple image. All right, so what are some things you guys can do to apply what I'm saying in this video to your own workouts? Uh, here's some general tips, these aren't super specific. If you guys want specific stuff, that's where the individualized coaching comes in. That's more or less what I try to focus in on with individuals anyways. Uh, and we didn't even talk about technique. Technique is huge. This is like, that's probably the foundation of everything we're saying right now. So always trying to think about technique. But first and foremost, I say this a lot, Find these exercises that work for you. So whether that's your thing about the breaking down of body parts, chest, back, abdominals, legs, uh, finding and even arms, single joint exercises, find different exercises in those groupings I just listed that you feel like you personally just like, you get a lot out of them. You enjoy doing them, but also when you're doing them, most importantly, you feel them working in the given muscle. So finding exercises that really work and emphasize your chest, and the same thing goes for their body part. Could be a sliding bench trainer, could be dumbbells, resistance bands, whatever you got. Try and find that selection of exercises. Then just to make it super simple is once you kind of have those staple of exercises, just do as many reps and sets, as much volume as you think is possible. And also most importantly, finding the range of motion that works for you that ultimately stresses those muscles. And then just repeat that as necessary in that workout. Don't worry about being super even and like evening things out. Like usually, in my opinion, it always works out, especially if you're kind of going through in your head, like I'll do a chest, I'll do a back thing, I'll do some arms, or I'll do some legs, whatever. Usually people are doing this circuit system in their brain, I, I kind of recommend that, so it'll all even itself out. But don't worry about, did I do 15 reps today? Did I do 20 reps yesterday? Whatever. The point is, just do as much as possible, because every day is gonna be a little bit different, and that's ultimately what you have to do. Find those staple exercises that feel good for you, that stress the given body part in that given range of motion, and then just start cycling them and doing as many reps as possible that feel good for you for that particular day. Obviously, be careful about not overdoing it or doing too little. Now, you guys might disagree with me, which is totally understandable, and for sure there's some level of personality, individuality here where some people just do better with a more structured, laid out plan, so there's for sure something to be said with that. Uh, but at the very least, speaking for myself, and I'm even talking about speaking for my experience with other clients, but speaking for myself, you know, using my kind of no way as way kind of approach, kind of like a Bruce Lee analogy there, um, I've been very happy with my workouts because not only is it giving me pain-free, consistent results that I just like, I'm also just having so much 
fun doing these workouts and exercises, which to me almost makes it seem like I get more work done than if I had a structured workout plan. I should say more focused, efficient work done. Uh, so that's really it, guys. I could say a lot more on this concept, but I uh, just wanted to kind of vent about the pros and cons, more so the cons of doing strict, strictly doing follow-along workouts. Hopefully that was beneficial. Hopefully you got something out of it. I'll see you guys in the next video.